आसंता सेप्टेम्बर मस रहे ईश्वर सूर्य मिशन सूर्य मिशन आदित्य एल वन समस्त प्रस्तुति सारी गगनायन मिशन कार्य आगे चली गगनायन मिशन सेप्टेम्बर कि अक्टोबर क्रू मड्यूल एवं क्रू एसके प्रदर्शन कार्य चली सबकि ठीक ठाक चलिए आसंता दुई हजार पचिश बेलू प्रथम मानव महाकाश जान प्रेरण इसरो योजना करसरो मुख्य ए सोमनाथ से चंद्र दक्षिण मेरु में चंद्रायन तीन मिशन सफल हो आगक एने इसरो अनेक आशा रखी वैज्ञानिक दृष्टिकोण दक्षिण मेरु हो अति गुरुत्वपूर्ण स्थान दक्षिण मेरु में सूर्य आलोक अति कम पड़ता एठार बासोपयोगी संभावना थवर दक्षिण मेरु में वैज्ञानिक मैंने गवेषणा आग्रह रखती मुख्य in terms of its data and what went wrong and we really clearly identified so those lessons are the first thing that we uh, learned and afterwards we looked at what all can go wrong further and we strengthened all of them so that the failure won't happen this time so uh, essentially in, in all the space missions failures are important element for achieving success the very first time success doesn't mean it is a success we all realize that the second time it can fail so once it fails a lot of data comes and lot of information comes and in every even if succeeds one time there are possibilities of failures in the second time so uh, looking at many other rocket launches you will understand that so we are very tuned to understanding failures and make corrective actions we have gone closer to south pole which is 70 degree almost so the south pole has a spe special uh, advantage with respect to being less illuminated by the sun and because of that there is a potential to have more scientific content in terms of retention of water below the subsurface and also elemental composition and other activities uh, which is an electrical activity on surface of the moon to be more dominant there than what it is there at the equator so science people who are scientists who are working on moon has really shown a lot of interest on the south pole because ultimately human beings wants to go and create colonies on the moon and then travel beyond so the best place is something that we are looking for so south pole has a potential to to be that it has two instruments pragyan has two instruments both are related to elemental composition finding on the moon as well as chemical composition so one based on laser other based on alpha particles and both will be doing its experiments and more than that it will do the roving on the surface we will do also a robotic path planning exercise which is very important for us for future exploration uh, and uh, uh, this data will give a little more understanding of the lunar regolith Uh, for all the scientists so that's what we expect aditya is a mission to sun it is getting ready and uh, it is just ready for launch first week of september it will be launched and after that it will be launched uh, it will travel for many days to reach the l1 point gaganyaan is still in, in the work in progress and we are doing a mission possibly by end of september or beginning of october for demonstrating the crew module and crew escape capability and which will be followed by further missions of unmanned missions next year beginning and many more test test missions and test uh, ground test hundreds of them until we do the first manned mission possibly by 25